Welcome to the Workstudy Plus training tutorial. Today we're going to cover the basics of sampling and how we would do random activity sampling um, and um, rated activity sampling in the software. I've got two examples set up. So today we're going to go into how that would look from a collection side. And the first thing you'd want to do is determine if you're going to do fixed sampling or um, random. So that's set under timer. So on the bottom left here, I'm going to tap on timer. And then from the sampling timer screen in here, we're going to select um, our minimum, our average, and our max. Now we can change this to whatever we want. I'm not going to change it right now. I'm going to set it up just for two, two, and two. So it's going to come up every two minutes. Now at the bottom, when I need to tap on enable slash update to activate. And we'll close out of here, hit done. Now I'm going to first go into the activity sampling example. So we'll click on that. And the bottom left, I will click do study to start the collection. So um, if we wait for the timer in less than two minutes, it's going to pop up and ask us to take a sample. I'm not going to wait that long. I have 20 operators set up. Now you can set up as many operators as you want. If I go into operator one to take our first sample, I have it set to a simple working, not working. You can have a much more detailed list if um, you want. But in this case, we will say not working. And you'll notice that it takes a sample, has a log in the bottom right. There's a timer running, which uh, can be ignored during the analysis because so, this is not a continuous time study. We will just look at the frequency and the occurrences. So I would continue on operator two. I'm going to say working, operator three, um, working, operator four, and not working. So pretty straightforward. We can continue on um, for our study. Right now on the screen, you'll see that the sampling timer has come up. So this is a reminder that you can set so you know when to go out. So you could have every five minutes or 10 minutes, and then you would go do a round and go through the operators to select what they were doing. I will disable this for the rest of the video. So we'll hit disable. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit stop and done. And we're going to go look at um, the next example, which is the uh, rated activity sampling. We'll hit done again to close out to the main list. So we'll go into the rated activity sampling example at the top. So in this example, I'll, um, I'll hit do study to open it up. We have 10 operators set up. I'll go under operator one, just like the previous one, working, not working. But there's an extra uh, prompt here. When I click working, it opens up the performance rating screen where I can select the rating that's appropriate. So I sit in this case, I will select 80. And then we continue on. We'll see in the log that it shows the 80% rating. So you know what they were rated at. So we hit operator two. We'll say they're not working. I'll select them as 95. And again, we can continue on down the list of operators, setting the rating appropriately until we've continued. Now, in this example, I could go through all 10. I will skip back. I'll go back you know, to operator one, and we'll say working, and we'll say 95%, and um, we could just continue on um, going as many rounds as we want. So that's how um, sampling is set up, and the data is collected in the Workstudy Plus software. If you've got additional questions about sampling, or continuous time studies. There are other training videos that cover a lot of different topics, but if it's not covered in one of the videos, then please reach out to us. We'd be glad to assist you. And you can send us emails at support at qtech.com or contact your QTech representative.